smells, that man smells, Robin laid an egg. Welcome to Manland. Ranger Cookie actually got something that he saw on the internet. I saw it too, which I believe it was the King of Random, showing this neat little trick. What we have is actually a shelf hanger. We've got the long ends already driven into the ground. Then we decided today to go ahead and try a little cooking to see how well this works. Well, we know it's going to work. We just want to play and have fun. One thing I didn't get was my lighter. Picture hanger just driven into the ground about yay far. Got a lot some pine straw. Then we got our makeshift sticks over here ready to go. Still not ready to go. They're close by. <laughs> Now don't expect these picture hangers to come out nice and clean and pretty after this particular firing. More pine straw than I actually needed. Yeah, it's a bonfire you got there, buddy. But anything worth doing is worth doing overdoing. Looks like you don't have enough airflow at the bottom of your uh, sticks there, buddy. Oh, sure, sure. This uh, method right here is a little too close to the ground. Yep. But if you Once build you get the coal base going, keep feeding them sticks. Yeah, the sticks are getting hot on this side, so a little airflow will give a good gear gear going. Just watch the fire burn. Oh, the fire is burning and no one's talking. Ain't that just something just make it a fire and no one talking? A service fire to bring the fire back this way. Chicken Alley King. So is my lighter. <laughs> Sokosuki. Sokosuki. Say it fast. Sokosuki. If you'll say so. Once we get the fire established pretty good, then we get to concentrating on trying to cook something. That's the fun part. The cooking part. I think we pretty much got it going on there, even with the wind blowing. I just hope they don't take the embers to the wrong place. Well, we've got threatening rain, so I think we're all right for now. Mm, just let the smoke on your clothes. Yes. And today we're going to cook air. That's the best tasting stuff. Less filling too. No calories. Using the water level in the pot, we get to see whether or not, there it goes. Well, I see one thing here already. Our pot pan is not quite level, but that really doesn't matter. As long as it's stable and doesn't go ploop. I kind of like this technique. It's quick, simple, and easy to set up. Yep, and you just throw those brackets in a Ziploc bag or a garbage bag, and it's clean free from your other stuff in your bag. Yep. Now, it's a little bit bulky. This is not going to be something that a lot of, you know, hikers would want to do. But it is light. It's light. Well, I'm going to come back on mine and get the water going. Well, that's going And now, we're going to add the flavors the seasonings of the millennium we have a ground of black pepper yes this is expensive stuff too comes all the way from it comes all the way from the grocery store you have a sifter and then you have a porter we're going to pour it tell them why we're doing it this way because i want to we don't have fish fry or anything Adding a lot of salt. God damn, we're not going to have a heart attack. We're going to turn it back into seafood. <laughs> <laughs> Replace the lid. And now we get to cook our secret ingredient, which we will not reveal just yet. We just put some shrimp into this pot and we're going to cook it up and we'll have a little shrimp dinner. Look at this little thing, a, a cool idea. 
is coat, uh, bookshelf hangers, whatever you call them. What do you call them things? Uh, shelf hanger. Shelf hanger thingy things. Thingy. Well, put the lid back on so it can barrel. I didn't mean to drop it. Don't drop it. I dropped the lid. Well, she in a few minutes when we start eating. Don't worry, you won't eat me, see me smacking my lips. See you in a few seconds. Okay. I'm gonna burn myself. Yes, I want you to burn yourself. And now because the flame has reached toward our handle, Mr. Ranger Cookie has come up with an idea to use some magnolia leaves. And he's going to use them in a very bushy craft style way. Mitt, mitt. Here you go. The homemade hot mm, grabber to grab hot items. You can wrap your food in some of these things and cook in them. Now. I think it's going to be okay. Let's see here. Let's see what's the in. Wants to fall down. Yeah. Okay. That's too hot. I got a better idea. Let's put this son of a gun on the ground. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> uh, that's not exactly how I meant. Hold on. That's not exactly how I meant to do it, Cookie. <laughs> I'm still gonna eat them bitches. You damn right. I got some water to wash them off with. All right. We made a uh, uh, the table. The rinky dinky table is rinky dinky. So never put nothing on top of your rinky dinky table. Unless you want to have an accident like this. Damn you boy! Here, here you go. Hey, I've, got the rain drop. I've got the raindrop. I can't work under these conditions. A real bushcrafter will eat this bitch if he's hungry. So we're going to eat. We're going to wash first. We're going to brush them off. Come on, let's wash these babies off because I'm starving. Even though that again. <laughs> <laughs> we starving, wash them off. I'm starving, Marvin. Hey, not bad. When they hit the ground, they it tastes better. better. Shoot you! Yeah. They got a little acorn in there too. Mm, that acorn, man. Mm. Perfecto. Mm. You see, I'm hungry. You always hungry. I got a tapeworm. He's he's even got it named. My foot is almost on the fire. Hmm. I just had no look. You better eat some before wait, I grab wait, them off. Wait. Come on. <coughs> well, this is a quick snack. You get some shrimp, bring it out in the woods, and cook it on your homemade. So, this is Manland of Manland 121 and Ranger Cookie. Showing y'all how to eat some shrimp out here in the sticks. We cooked it in a cool way. I'm glad I thought mm -hmm. about it. Well, he thought about it. Wait a minute. No, actually, you thought about it. But we both saw the video on the shelf hangers. We brought it out here and tried it out. I said, let's go out there and cook something. Yeah, I bought them. <laughs> now, you've probably already seen the live version. We intend to shoot cooking uh, shrimp pasta on rice. Shrimp, shrimp ragu, ragu shrimp, shrimp, something other. We had not done it yet, but you've probably already seen it because it will be live and it'll be tonight when we actually are shooting this video later on tonight. But this video will come out way later yeah. than what you have just seen live. So, yeah. so we're time travelers, man. Time travelers. So watch the time travel videos because it might help. All right, right. you cookie, and this is uh, Chicken Alley King, Hold the Feathers. Right. Amateur Artist Mar D, Channel from Manland once again. And remember this. Pour make, your water on your fire. You oh, right? Yeah, pour, pour your water on fire. Hold on, let me let me turn the camera. Turn around, dude. <laughs> Folks, when you finish cooking, take your water and pour it on your fire. Hey, it smells like shrimp. Mmm, good smell. Oh yeah, feel the burn. Now how? And don't, yeah, that pot don't lock. It don't lock, it's a rinky dinky pot. It's a stand sport. Damn, I feel the heat from somewhere. All right, I'll read your cookie. I'll see y'all next time on the Manland Show. The Manland Show and the cookie show. It's kind of weird how we get our videos He's going to have short video. I'm going to have the long video. So come along on both sides. 
Take a look at both skews. You might see something. You might kill your grandma. There, you bitch. And you might see his area. He's gonna be short. So, bye, y'all. Bye. Until next time. Of course, you. Sometimes.